back to the Independent Investor Channel. Ryan here, always trying to earmark what is applicable to the masses uh, in introducing uh, people who don't really understand what the investing opportunity involves, um, what their opportunities are, what accounts they can use, um, what strategies they can deploy. So I roll these out. Uh, to be applicable to those new investors out there that are just uh, seeking a 10 minute message on uh, a real portfolio. Yes. Check uh, a real account. Yes. Check real dollar amounts that are performing quite nicely. So I think the real question for you is, uh, are, are you ready to take that leap of faith and start an investing wealth building program for yourself guys at the end of this video? You'll be able to answer that question for yourself. With that, we'll kick into the account and we'll conduct the review. Uh, this is the dividend growth portfolio. This is one of two brokerage accounts that I have with M1 Finance here. I just wanted to give a, a quick uh, status update on the account. Um, it did surpass that 15,000 milestone. Um, next milestone that we're going to go for is 25,000, guys. If you're new to the channel, please understand this is Wealth Building 101, okay? And there's a lot of people out there that can look at this portfolio and say, man, this is great. This is something that I can relate with, and that's absolutely the intent of the message, okay? I could just as easily invest the way I know uh, works and makes money and um, you know it, it compounds over time the way that it's supposed to. Uh, but uh, I spend some of my time coming on and sharing uh, this as a testimonial as to what works. Now, initially, this portfolio was um, aimed at reaching that first $10,000 mark. And if I was a new investor out there, you know, when I was a new investor, I, I didn't think 10000 was even in the realm of possibility. Um, I want to break down those barriers for new investors that are making their way to my message and saying, man alive, you know, this is this is pretty cool. Um, this portfolio has taken on a couple different um, uh, life forms, I guess, over the evolution of it. Um, I've only had the ac account. It was started December 20th of 2019. Um, so, you know, less than about a year and a half anyway uh, that we've got going on here. Um, which is which is great. I mean, this is realistic. If people look at this and they're like, "Dang, man, that this is some serious results in such a short amount of time." Fifteen five thirty on the top end here. Uh, the market gains um, have just been they've been nice. The market's been conducive to gains, guys. There's nothing special about this at all. This is just investing, okay? It it, it doesn't make me a better person. It it doesn't it doesn't mean I'm I'm special. It doesn't make me a better YouTuber. Uh, it, it just it just means that I'm a pretty dang good wealth builder. That's what it means. Uh, furthermore, if if you can come to my message and say, oh, okay, you know, I understand what Ryan's talking about. Hell, he is a good wealth builder. Um, I want a little piece of that for myself. How achievable is that for me? The answer is it's right there in front of your face. There there is no barrier to entry to do what it is that I do. There's there's nothing special about doing what it is that I do. And the two commonalities. Between my two portfolios, I split this up between the 10 sectors. Again, I, I do leave real estate out of this because it is a taxable brokerage account and I do have larger positions in my Roth IRAs devoted to real estate. Um, but the other 10 sectors, these are off the charts, man, up over 8,000 bucks. So fantastic, 100% return, over 100% return on this, um, real dollars. Just over the last year and a half, real results, man. Like, you can spend your time um, chasing down uh, feudal avenues or um, chasing down emotional content in the stock market. It just doesn't have its place. Um, th th this is this is robotic investing 101. Th 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 there's nothing special at all about what I do. You can take and cooking cutter carbon copy this portfolio, put it to work for yourself. You can tailor it in the manner that makes sense for you. You can add a passive aspect for it, which is interesting because my other portfolio, which is devoted toward passive ETFs, is also up in every single sector or slice that I have. It's up 100% across the board. So for those of you guys who are scared of investing or, or you're just not sure about the risks involved, et cetera, et cetera, markets go two ways. They go up and they go down. 
Um, but, um, you know, over time, they've been proven to go slightly to the right and up. Earned dividends at 222, not too shabby. There are 69 holdings in this. You can see here that I've taken some strategic fund ups. This was the pandemic low here, uh, beginning of uh, March, uh, end of March 2020 here. Um, I did not do any strategic buying, I don't think, to think of in this account. Um, but uh, the strategic fund up here um, and probably here is indicative of a couple just injections of a few hundred dollars. Um, I know this inject was fairly large. This might have been a, around a thousand bucks or fifteen hundred. Um, but um, a lot of people are capable of doing that, so I'm not going to apologize for that. The whole idea is that if you are an investor and you have a bucket like this to contribute to over time, um, that's really the secret to success is have that drop point for, in, for, for uh, cash money um, or an investing program um, because you have justified that you really don't need all the money that you, you earn and you, you need to put some money aside to be working for yourself. Um, but these are how the slices kind of shake out. These are some pretty serious real dollar returns here for a relatively small amount of money in each of the slices. And the interesting takeaway here isn't necessarily like, hey, Ryan's doing well, which I am, um, or the amount of money. And you try to go after that and say, hey, you know, I, I'd like to be up a couple hundred dollars in each of these slices. We're nearing a hundred, over a hundred here, you know, $30 bill here, 40. This is wealth. This is, this is in the trenches, wealth building 101. And for you guys that want to know what that is, in the trenches, wealth building 101 is taking a small amount of dollars and making more dollars out of them. That's what it is. Okay. We put some dollars to risk to be able to capture um, these sector improvements, and they're all up. They're all up. In a down market, I can't come on and say that this is going to be how it is for the long term. I, I can't say that. But I, what I've done is I've set myself up to win an appreciating market. That's what I've done. If the market turns down on us, then I can strategically fund this account up, which is exactly what I'll do. Right. In the meantime, we're going to continue to win, win, win. And in a down market, we'll prepare to win. Win in both markets, I always say. It's very, very simple. It's not rocket science. Anybody can do it. Anybody who comes to my message can leave with that inspiration in knowing that this is attainable for all investors. All right. Now, a couple things here. The target allocation I've built, this is custom built for me. You can adjust this in any capacity that you want. Um, I do want to mention that technology is void of some of the larger cap, Apple, Microsoft, healthcare is void of J&J, &J. financials, I believe is void of, of JP Morgan. I may have thrown it in there to double it up. Um, industrials, uh, you know, is void of some of the larger positions that I have in my larger accounts. Um, but these are just uh, comprised of uh, 69 companies uh, as of now, maybe 71. I think I added Dow. Um, and DuPont Demours into materials, so just a small addition there to materials, um, no big deal. But uh, um, that's how the portfolio shakes out. This is this is wealth building, and the real takeaways from my message is to understand, you know, on the ground level, in the trenches. If you're just a starting investor, you come in here and you're like, Ryan, can I start this with five hundred dollars? Yes. Ryan, can you uh, expect that I can um, see some results over this uh, given proper funding and ample time in the market? Absolutely, 100%. The power of M1 Finance makes it more than achievable for all investors out there. I'm just an advocate and a proponent of wealth building for all investors out there, okay? This message isn't about me. Um, I'm just a conduit for information and a testimonial to show how in a lot of different capacities uh, I seek my exposure to the stock market and looking to share it with you guys. With that, we'll kick you back and conclude the video. All right, guys, so we've come out of the review here. Um, this is a, an interesting strategy that I deploy. Um, this has got about 70 stocks in it split across the 10 sectors. Um, uh, omitting real estate as explained here. Um, but the few dollars, man, they add up. They really do. There's a small amount allocated to each of the slices and the appropriate holdings, you know, half a dozen or so holdings per uh, on an average um, works really, really well. And, and the pennies that are paid in dividends, man, those add up over time. They really do. 
seeking exposure to those companies that I want exposure to, um, there's a big difference between uh, not investing in these companies and actually seeking out exposure in the capacity that I do using the power of M1 Finance to say, look, I want to invest in these companies, but I don't have a whole lot of money to spread out across 70 companies. This allows me to get a little bit of exposure to each of those 70 companies with a relatively light amount of money. And that right there, guys, is a message that is applicable to the masses. Appreciate you guys tuning in for the totality of the message. If you're new to the channel, want to make sure and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video for sure. Share the message with anybody out there that you know can relate with what I'm throwing down on, man. Accounts, real results, investing 101, wealth building in the trenches. This needs to apply to more people. And what really escapes a lot of people um, is, are the questions that are, are generated from new investors, man, they can get all those answers and then some on the Independent Investor Channel. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.